So hello, and welcome to Lisa the Joyful, the definitive edition. This and the video covering Lisa the Painful are going to be the last few bits of content that are going to be doing Lisa related on this channel for a little bit. And it's going to be covering the extra ending that was added on the definitive edition. I'm going to get in more detail during the video on more or less how to unlock things, on what point in the game I was when I started doing the steps. But just as a heads up, some information that you need to really understand how to do some of the puzzles, some, how, some references here and there, some other information, you get them while playing both Lisa the Painful and Lisa the First. So just in case you want to play those games before, this is going to be one last warning. Like, go watch someone playing Lisa the First, go play by yourself, it's free on Steam for you to search and download, go watch someone play it. I play Lisa the First. Then, of course, I'm not telling you what to do, you can you do whatever you want, if you want to get spoiled, spoil yourself, whatever. It's fine, it's, it's, it's fine, but without any more delay, let's just begin the video. So just like in a painful, for this save, I am on the very end of the game. Here, I am I just about Let's ready to do, to do the last sequence. I redid the whole game. I mean, in order to do this ending, you actually need to be doing joyless. It isn't as difficult as it sounds. You have a few resources. I think some of them were added on the definitive edition. And to be sure, I did some extra things that are not really necessary. You just need to be doing a, joy a joyless playthrough. And then the first thing that you need to do, as you see me doing here, you're going to need to go to the cave where you killed Lardy. That is going to be a guy on the ledge. You need to deal with him. You just take off the mask, go to the side a little bit, and you're going to trigger a fight. And then you wait under this ledge for a bit. Like every guy do here, it says like, oh, it takes forever to make things happen. No, it just take three minutes. It, it isn't that long of a time. You don't even need to be here. Uh, you can leave and come back and you're going to have the thing you need. I have common by camel in my head. It's kind of annoying. Don't ask me why I have it in my head. Just don't. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it took about uh, two, three minutes. It isn't that long. The guide makes it sound like it takes forever. Okay, what's next? So let's see, I'm suppose... Um, go back to the list. Could have gone by truck, whatever. Okay, go back to the list. And then around here... Oh, there's some joy. Around here-ish. But oh, there it is. I need to look at the fence. There should be... Lucrative tea, secret stash of oh whoa a lot of money, and a tiny picture. Oh oh, there's a dude. No, give me one sec. Why am I injured? That's okay. Okay. Now if I just spam while going to the side, I should be able to find the passage. Oh. That's fast. Okay, don't run like an impatient little freak now. Just walk slowly. There we go. Don't run. There is this place here. There's the garden gloves. Okay, we got it. Now, we leave. And where do I go now? So, uh, on the guy that actually did something wrong, I skipped this fight this first time, I just killed this guy, whatever. But what I'm supposed to do, is while fighting this dude, 
I need to use the shipment skill until I received an item that I can't use. Domestic jerky. Kinda need you to hit me more, dude. Can you do that? Wolf stats? Oh, that's a lot. More tea. Horse jerky. Don't mind. Free horse jerky. A tissue. Gonna have a sandwich with a tissue. Horse jerky. Not weird anymore. Randorations, wow. Potato liquor. Can I have the thing that I need? Fire liquor. Mystery jerky. Are you kidding me? This guy's gonna kill me before I get a thing. More tea. A vodka. Jerky, come on, dude. How long is it gonna take? Clean water, there we go. I got it. I just need to kill this guy. Okay, so for the next thing, I need to speak with him using the hints mask. Kid, that fashion statement makes me wanna hoe. It should be disgusted too. Here, take this. Got a syrup of ipecac. All right, gonna throw up some rainbows. Let's see on the area where I killed Dice Mahon. Where is he? Oh, he's further up. Oh no, it's right here. He's supposed to interact with this thing. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Still dead. He's dead. A pile of guts. He's dead. He's dead. Gone and forgotten. He's dead. Food for the maggots. It's dead. Pulled apart. Pulled apart. Pulled apart along. An old wound. You pull off some stitches. That's disgusting. Don't fall down the hole, please. He's dead. Okay, next item. I need... Oh, the rocks. I need to go and interact with every single rock outside the Big L Hotel. And then get inside. Go all the, the way up. This is where I fought him. There's a joy guy. There should be a door. I found it. There's something here. Press into this mouth. You got a blue key. All right. I got what I wanted. And I don't have to be here anymore. Cool. Oh, look at the stitches. Okay, this is what I got. Clean water from the uh, creepy guy at the cave. Stitches from the dead guy. Goldfish from the mouse. Tiny picture from the cave. Ipecac from um, Jerry. Forgot his name. Blue key from the wolf. And garden from the uh, overgrown garden. I'm gonna call it that. Now we go all the way to the pacifist colony. Is that it? Um. Oh. We actually. What do we do? A leap of faith from this ledge here. This one. Are you sure? Oh, yep. <laughs> okay then. We check the door, and it won't open. 
Let me just remove this. Done. Then I'm supposed to actually use the blue key. The blue key bit fit perfectly into the lock. It did not break upon use. You got a ceremonial sword. Okay. Now what? Okay, now I need to go all the way up this thing. Really? There is some use to this. And thankfully, buddy can run up the rope. It's not like Brad has to like slowly climb out this thing. And then if you don't have on both the arms, it'll go really slow. But no, buddy can actually just, just do it. But he's a champ. It doesn't matter, it takes forever to go up. Doesn't matter, it takes like a little bit over two minutes to do this. She she do, just does it. She just does it. She's amazing, just like that. Look at that. Look at her go. Oh, there we go, right on the top. Oh, right. There's a whole mountain. It's a ladder. Dear reader, I swear, no tricks this time. Thank you for all your dedication. You really mean a lot to me for giving me the chance to give something to you. Even if it's not perfect, I still always try my best to make you feel something, anything. There is no better feeling than to have something you are passionate about creating come to life for others to enjoy. Thank you so much for everything, be all. Aww. Kinda wholesome. <laughs> Just in case it never did this thing. I need to use the swords on his hands. You got an incomplete hand. The sword is in pieces. It was not tempered for such use. Yep, there it is. Doesn't have a finger. A hand missing a finger. A finger would be nice. Yeah. Okay, now I need to go back to the little garden. And there, oh, there is going to be a flower. Can I talk to it? I... What do I do? Oh, inventory. Inve inventory? There we go. And we are in a puzzle room. I actually need to do this puzzle to finish. What's this? So we have a blob, we have Rando, we have Marty, we have Brad, we have Lisa. Uh, we have one of the boys, we have Sticky, we have Buzzle, and we have someone else. Okay, I, I want to try without using the seeing the guides. Hold on, let me let me minimize the guide. Oh, this is Yado. Okay, this is Yado. This isn't. This is Sticky. This is Yado. This is Buzzle. That is something. This is Brad. This is Marty. This is Rando. That is something. What? The guy did say that I needed to finish... In order for me to understand how to do this puzzle, I needed to finish... Uh, the extra boss and the painful. Is it a... Poem thing? 
on the ends. Let me go to the recording, hold on. Okay, so that whole cutscene of little brats going down the uh, the meat hole. No friends, no brothers, no fathers, no mothers. Just me. So... What's the friends? The friends will be sticky. And Buzzle. Then the brothers would be Randall. And Brad. Then the fathers would be Yado. And Marty. And the mothers would be these ones without a face. And Lisa, no friends, no brothers, no fathers, no mothers, just me. Yeah, I did it. Oh, it's another puzzle. What's this puzzle again? Wait, what do I do here? It's the order of the inventory on Lisa on Lisa the first. Are you kidding me? The order of the inventory. Like I <sighs> hold on. Let me re-download Lisa the first. And see if I still have a say. <laughs> Okay, never mind. It's the, it's the gloves, the clean water, the red key, so it's the blue key. Then the stitches for the... Um, is it a knife? What is it? I forgot. Stitches. Then the ipecac for the uh, headache medicine. Yeah, so far so good. Then the sheet, that is the, the sword. Then the goldfish, that is the banana. Is it a banana? I don't remember. Then the uh, tiny picture for the locket. And the incomplete hand for the finger. Was well, something supposed to happen? Okay, and if I did everything okay... If I go back to the list... There it is! The blue door. Okay, let me save the game first. Alright. Ah. It's the blue door again. Ooh, it's moody. I just run. 
If I just walk, it's gonna take a while. Is this a battlefield? Oh. Oh, I can actually save you. What? Um. I'm sure. What happened? Buddy. Here to all eight. Will the guilt wash away? Will we be silenced? Once and for all. Excuse me? Nine remain? What do you mean by that? Hello? Well, shit. Are they all? They are all the separate entities. Mr. Beautiful, Hand Tsunami, Cindy Gallows, Mega Van Dam, Big Lincoln, Larvi Hernandez, Buffalo. Oh, that's Buffalo. Dice Mahone, and Hawk Hollywood. Oh, okay. So those are the guys that I missed. Uh, this is the guy on the sauna. This is the guy that joined me. I totally forgot. And this is the guy where I got the cloth for the for the bow. So technically Brad took care of three of them. Quote unquote. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Buffalo, but Who do I kill first? Um uh, Wolf's Dance? Raging Rave, Mr. Beautiful is stinking. You you do that. He's shiny, I'm blind. Hawk Hollywood is showing up. Sending all those sprays. Okay. That was a lot. Glimmering Glad. hits. I don't know if blindness is gonna be a thing. Hits. Misses. Misses. Okay. I'm gonna have to think. God damn it. Ew! I haven't done a single point of damage to anybody yet. Uh, sleep bomb. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody's saying, no, shut up. Oh. Mm. And then Lich Bomb. One, two, oh. You got a one of poison. Nice. Wish it was more poison. What do I take down first? The ones that are actually attacking. How about that? More sleep bomb. Don't put me to sleep, what is wrong with you? So I'm gonna go for... Hunt Tsunami? Cindy Gallus first. No. Who isn't sleeping? Mr. Beautiful? He's defending Mega Van Dam. Lardy. I'm afraid of Lardy just getting his guns. So that's my own. And of course. I'm silenced, are you kidding me? Don't paralyze me. Oh. 
I'm bad. What? I couldn't do a single point of damage. I mean, I did damage to one person. How do I do this fight? A diesel firebomb scene, okay. I guess... I guess this is the way, more or less. I, like, put people to sleep. Apply crowd control. Buy some damage of a time because I, I can't attack too much because whenever I'm attacking, I'm not controlling people, I'm not out defending. I'm, I get silenced, I get a lot of status. It is just fight is complicated. Stop dealing damage. Oh, come on. Trying to do stuff, a lot of people wake up. I can't do a sleep bomb again. So, this is a fireball. And because I'm silenced, I'm just dead. Because everyone's doing damage now. I can't do a sleep bomb. So, this is a fire bomb or. Horse jerky, horse jerky. What if I keep healing out? Until maybe, hopefully, I can do something about it. No, I'm just dead. Okay. If they are all attacking, I'm dead. But I can't stop their attacks if I'm silenced. Silence anybody, so I'm just hoping they miss a lot. And they are, thank god. There's a fireball. One is dead. I can't be re silenced. One blindness is gone, two blindness is gone. Can't risk it. I'm getting glared again. Still thinking. Still think what is going on? Why do you suddenly decide yo, I don't wanna attack anymore? I'm good with this with this. Yo! Oh uh, he's super cool at least. Still can do anything. Oh I can use the wallet skills. Nice. That goes my health again. Come on, guys are blind. My god. So close. I forgot I can pacify people. Right. That is a thing I can do. I can pacify people, it gives me one turn to heal. Only one turn though. There is a fill of them that never go to sleep. What? Are you just going to sit there and take it? Uh, no. I kinda... Trying to do something about it. But it's kinda difficult when I have nine of them in my, in my butt. So back, oh, damn it. Stop! Jesus, nope, stop! Fucking... Fucking shit. Uh... 
I don't know, I'm just throwing things in a while now. Getting glared at. Going on a rave. It's not burning anymore. Oh, it was asleep. Ow. Only four pacifieds. Actually missed the time. God damn it! Just gonna sit there and take it. Let me try something, hold on. Let me go back to normal. A little bit past the anger phase. Let me just um, use my mind a little bit. Just a little bit. Gonna use Wolf Stance. What if I don't attack? Because it does feel that if I just fight them, I'm dead. I wish I could see how many are still um, pacifiable. Oh, I can use a, a bottle. Hold on. Empty bottle. Unruly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only one is unruly. And that is Mr. Beautiful, so use pacify. Can you see the that? Brown, 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 brown. Mr. Beautiful is just defending. Still can use that. Um, Ops dance. One stinking, he's on the rave, defending, stinking, he's flashing me, actually attacking, actually attacking, actually attacking. Two are done really. Why won't you fight back? Because he's I because there's a little girl on the casting couch. What am I supposed to do? I'm already getting worked over. But these huge ass motherfuckers. One, two, three, four, four out of nine. Hmm. I'm gonna use Wolf Stance one more time. Hopefully, by the next turn, not silenced anymore. One attack, stinking. Two attack. Three attack, four attack, five attack, stop doing damage. Look, it feels like if I don't attack, I'm not bombarded by it. Never mind, I'm still getting bombarded anyway. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm just dead. I, I can't... As long as that they waste their turns. Three, four wasted. Five wasted. Okay. Really? I, I have to pass five. One attack can still happen. Okay. Oh, now they lose the own goalie. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? What am I using? Horse turkey. I'm not weird anymore. At least I am. I'm weird again, okay. Don't leave us. Goodbye. I can just escape. Are you kidding me? If I...
I'm thinking I'm going to save. I'm thinking on running to the crow on the left really quick just to save. But I'm afraid they're gonna have to just go. Just go. It's fine. Just go. Yeah, let me heal. <laughs> Huh? You found it? My treasure. You got a, a, a nipple. Ooh, it's the biggest <laughs> upgrades to offense. Decreases defense and luck. Everything else just goes wow. And I feel good. I pull my nipple back. Hmm. Okay. So, just finished the game. Yes, this scene is to the same. There is no difference. So, what did I miss? So apparently, what you are actually supposed to do, once you have the nipple, let me just I might actually need this. Is go to the Joy Lab. And look at Lisa's grave. Let me just um, clean it up a bit. Just important pieces. I'm sorry, but I can't do it anymore. I will always love you. Buzo. Yeah. And then we leave and we have the little scene. Us. Do it. Never let go. Yeah, we have this little scene with Buzzle. Yeah, that's the same scene. What? You sure I didn't miss anything? So, of course, there's something else. Of course, there is always something else. All I have to do... Is go through a wall that I couldn't go before. Sometimes... You gotta look at a game. A well-beloved game. A game that you also enjoy. You also like a lot. You see that it's doing some bullshit. And you go, hey... That's bullshit. Stop doing that. It's not cool. With that being said, another blue door. No, oh, stop. Let me. Hi. Guys. I can't stay quiet any longer. Oh no. I miss her. Oh boy. Oh boy, how does Dura she, she would make? The way she would giggle at those magazines. The only person who could tolerate her ramblings. She used to be really funny, you know that? She would come up with the weirdest stuff. Here we go again. I bet if you really paid attention, she could have taught us more about life than we could have taught her. What the heck do we know about being good people? Being strong. Speak for yourself, please. Dude, come on. No one, and I mean no one else in the world, could have put makeup on Brad's and leave to talk about it. They would be killed instantly. He'd blasted all whole head off, no remorse. Plus, he was awake. We allowed it. He allowed it. Fuck, dude. No, not only that. I think he dug it, man. It was magical. Only Buddy could have done that. 
Hmm. <laughs> Good times. Ah. So embarrassing. But she did have such gentle light little hands. Fell nice on my bald spots. It made me think. Being cooped up like that really let her imagination run wild. She grew fast. She grew fast. A lot of freedom inside your mind, man. Until Brad got into her head. Don't forget that. Yeah. Us too. I regret trying to sell her out, dude. I think that was a mistake. Ah, uh, whatever. Who cares about that? The plan didn't even work out. Yeah. Well, regardless. In the end, we all agreed it was impossible for Brad to be a good dad. Of course we did. Cool guy. Very rough around the edges. But... Very good uncles. We got so caught up in your motives, I don't think we ever... Shut up. Please, Tiki, just shut up. Not today, not tomorrow. Never, never, never. I'll never be in the mood for your self-reflective shit. What's done is done. Just move on. Rick's right. Stop feeling so guilty. We try to save the world, right? Why is that so bad? That is all Brad's fault, anyway. It's that simple. Ah, it's not all his fault. What now? The painkillers, man. Sticky. But you know, I tried to talk to him. I'm not a pushover, man. I wanted to quit. I know you can't force healing. But if you could have just stopped and listened for a moment. He had such chaos in his head. It really came to life. Came to life. Messed his whole world up. Robbed him of his own feelings, bro. Since when did you become such an authority on the matter of mind and body and soul? Yeah, softy and Gonelli. No, dudes. It's not that deep. I just want to start listening to my heart more. And I think we all should... I don't know. Now more than ever, for some reason, it just feels right. Like something that's been building up. Now it's really ready to burst out. Like when a flower blooms? Yeah, totally, man. See? Chicks get it. Dude, you get it, man. It's getting really sick of... I'm getting really sick of both of you. You're becoming very lame. Especially you, Sticky. Alright, look, I'll admit, he felt bad too, I loved her, we all did, for that matter, we all loved Brad too, we love Brad, how could we not, he's done a lot for us, and that's exactly why we still follow his words of wisdom to this day, sometimes you need to just, I don't know, eat your heart out, or something, pick yourself up, do what's right, be a man and suck it up. Blah blah blah, then do a horse dance and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Amen. Aim strong, arm strong approved. Right. Wise words to live by from when Brad used to make sense. Maybe you're right. I am getting too soft. I just wish we would have handled it better. In our own way, we were just as forceful as Brad was. Plus, you could have told her about his past, about his family. That way, she might have stood a chance trying to understand him. Stop. We barely know anything about him ourselves. He could have never kept his story straight, and you know it. Not being able to give her f the full truth might as well be the same as lying. It was Brad's job to do that, not ours. Still, she never had much choice. Hey, Sticky. Pow. My sweetest, kindest, insightful new best friend. Gentle reminder, my former best friend. The stupid jerk you have so much sympathy for. He melted your face off. He blasted your whole head off. No remorse. Among other things. So it's a bit too late to second guess our actions. But it's never too late to stop sympathizing with a monster. So please, shut 
the fuck up. I can't take it anymore. All right, fine. Sorry. Man, it still doesn't feel right. What happened to us? Not a simple promise kept. Anyway, this sucks. Do you guys need some more painkillers? I know I do. Is that it? Yeah, it's just repeat. So is this like a funeral for Buddy? Oh, it's a bunch of little joy kids. Oh, they're kind of like the spiders. Uh, when Brad was going to his house on his stream on Lizard Painful, there was a bunch of spiders in front of the house. And they are kind of moving like the spiders. Can I talk to these kids? And they're all little Bradleys as well. Okay, the spiders were not moving, but they are very agitated. Oh, it's Buzzle and... Not Buzzle. Yeah, those kids. It's really about power, not strength. You have to be more confident, more dominating. Dummy... what? Do you your opponents the same way you would treat a girl? Softly? What? What the hell? Fucking weirdo. Listen to me. You have good technique. You know killer instinct. But it's not about harm, it's self-defense. Dumbass. That's just what Master Armstrong tells the kids. Oh. Think about it. The more time you waste defending, the more chance your opponent has to crush. No, the more times you waste defending, the more times you can just avoid the fights and grab a nipple. You don't have to fight, you can just grab the nipple. <laughs> go for the nip. Crush the nip, dude. Um, the nip rush. You need a fence. Stop being so timid. Get used to hurting people. Bernie, before they can hurt you, your heart is your weakness. Behind you. Huh? Oh, shit. Lisa? Um, no. Oh, never mind. They're busy. Buzz off. Buzz off. Buzz off, dude. Fucking criminy. Okay, okay, okay. Hey! Whoa, wait, what? I just saw something. And I wasn't paying attention. I just saw a bunch of people sitting around. And I don't know who was at the door. Now it's just Lisa having tea. Hey, girly. It's the first time talking, actually. Oh. Can I have some? No? No, this door doesn't exist. I thought I had a graph. Then I saw your words. Why do you even do it? The way you managed to stomach it. It certainly broke me. Fractured my heart in a way I never felt. Even so, I should have been stronger, more fun, aggressive. I just... I truly hate fighting. I always wanted to avoid conflict, but Master taught me better than that. He gave me tools I was never born with. Ways of looking at myself that I never dreamed of. I'm sorry, sis. Never meant to cause you trouble, but... Above all else, I had to believe in my own way. Something you know all too well. It takes many eyes to see the world for what it really is. I'll admit though, it's always been clear to me. Maybe I'm lucky, or just plain naive. Call it an intuition, or a type of delusion. Deep in my heart, I know how you really feel. I know how Master felt, even Bernie. All following a different path to what we think is right. Hoping for a chance to heal. Not only ourselves, but the ghosts with good there, but but the ghosts we've left behind. Just fighting through the scars. 
some someone planted something in you. It's unlike anything I felt. Yet somehow so familiar it is almost things. I sense these roots have been growing for a very long time. You've been fighting it, but it's too late. The truth always finds a way. Good luck, sister. And be careful. Whatever you give the freedom to let grow, will always take control. And he's gone. There's actually nothing here, which is good. There's some- oh, god dang it. There's something under the bed. A human child's- god damn, it was going so well. The top of the head has been removed. Oh, is this Lisa's room? That's funny. When you stare long enough at it. It starts to feel like you're looking into a mirror. Oh, I see. Body skull. Body skull with a large hole on top. Nothing changed. <laughs> There's a hole here. Oh, this again. Do I have to? I don't want to. What is this? Oh, this sounds... Do I do anything with it? Um... Hello? Flash mount? Are you disabled forever? I hope so. Can I just go back? It's not blue anymore. No. Oh, it's back to blue. Oh, sacred nipple. The nipple was has transformed, it's no longer used to equip. Oh, I'll put the nipple on top of the mount. Did I plug it? Yes. It's plugged up. I plugged the mount with my nipple. So I don't have... Yeah, hold on. There we go. I'm a badass. Well, my job's done. Something has changed again. I feel like I'm missing something again.
all. Is there anything else to do? This place? What? Oh, of course. What the hell? Sure. Whatever. It's fine. Just game being the game. No reason to come. Oh! Natural light! Ugh. Flash bomb. Again, I'm playing in the dark. Flowers. Tiny flowers. Long flower. Tiny flower. Long flower. I missed a flower. Tiny flower. Long flower. Tiny flower. Long flower. Tiny flower. Tiny flower. Long flower. Long flower. Tiny flower. Tiny flower. Two flowers. Long flower. Tiny flower. Long flower. Two flower. Long flower. Two flower. Two flower. Long flower. Where am I going with this? Oh, red flower. Red flower. By the skull. But it gently removes the flower from the radiant soil. With much care, she plants it into the skull. It has transformed into a flowering skull. Has it now? Could it be a symbol of new life? Or is it only in your head? Maybe. You sure there is anything left behind an invisible wall? Are you sure about that? There is always a chance for something invisible. Oh no, am I about to get jumped? There is always a chance of getting jumped by a giant spider monster. It happened once, it's gonna happen again. Just saying. No? And I don't like. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant. I don't like feeling safe, man. It gives me the heebie jeebies. Oh, it's, it's a pink door. What? You need it. No, I won't. The door is gone. So now do I just finish the game again? Again, again. So that is. Let me check this just to see if I'm not wasting my goddamn time. This is new. Liar. Huh? What's your deal? Are you afraid to die? Just, just, just doesn't seem like you. I've seen now the strong man in his dump. Some more impressive than others. Out of all of them, I have to admit, I kind of admired you. Maybe even the most. Oh, she blushing. You. What? Sure. You seem. You seem to really love it here. You didn't try to change anything. Plus, you scared me. You always had action behind your words. You acted on everything you said. That's how you became so feared, so powerful. You didn't need to be on the list. It taught me a whole lot. But this? Now I see you for who you really are. On your knees, spewing empty apologies. You can't keep your story straight. Do you even believe yourself? You don't even know who to blame. Lisa, it's her fault. You... You don't know her. You can't... Is she really the devil? 
or the excuse for you use to justify your weakness. But what's got into your head? You don't know me, girl. Maybe not. But I can tell you, as a woman, Lisa deserves much better than you. How the fuck? How did you... Lisa, no. Only I can talk to her. You don't know her. You can't hear her. I see right through you now. Lisa, you're a baby. I can't hear you. Say something. Wasted talents motivated by hate. What is happening? By revenge. Lisa, say something. Too weak to accept responsibility. Please. I don't know what I saw in you. The Armstrong Dojo would be so ashamed. Enough! Don't you dare lecture me. I'm in control. You have no idea. I helped build this tiny world of shit you call a home. Do you realize just how much I could have ruined you? I control... Don't start that. You control nothing and you've proven it. Look at you, covered in blood, breathing your last breath, speaking your last words. Just like Brad. Only difference is, you don't know true pain. Brad knew. He works to figure out what was hurting him most. He realized he needed to heal. And that forgiving himself, loving himself, would be the most painful thing he'd ever do. He fought for a chance to be better, to feel better. He fought for love. I never see him more hurt. I watched him. He was right in front of me. Just like you. I could feel him. And for a moment. Fuck. I got to know just how much my dad loved me. She's crying. Yet, he still can't rest. Because he turned into a monster. No. Because he changed. Those stupid pills. The ones you torture him with. Now he's trapped. Aching. Don't worry. I don't blame you. And honestly, I don't think Brad blames you. That's not a problem. You think you love Lisa? I don't. You have no idea what real love is. I don't think you helped her. How could you have? You're sick. Selfish. You live in a smaller bubble than I do. In fact, maybe Lisa would still be alive if she never found, if she never met you. Fuck, buddy. You fucking little bitch. Trying to pry my head open. You want inside? Wait. No. You stole it, didn't you? You want to take what's mine? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Replacement. <laughs> huh. Oh no, you wouldn't. Or comfort. You wanna taste it? You sneaky little brat. She's not yours. Give it back. <laughs> mommy. Come back, mommy. I'm scared. I need you. I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. Give it give back my banky. What? Excuse me? Oh. We're back to this. No, yeah, we're back to this. Did the same fight? Oh. oh, of course it's the same fight. I'm missing on everything. Okay, aside from all that, it's pretty much the same fight. I thought he would at least be more aggressive, or use something different. But no, it's the same fight. Which is fine. And now he's dead. I did it. It's okay. 
I'm okay. This might be the same thing. I think I'm actually gonna show this. Usually I skip what is repetitive, but I think I'm actually gonna show this just to make sure that it's the same thing. That is Brad. Hey Brad, how are you doing old man? What Buzo told me, what you said. I thought I got rid of you. I was free. Okay, it's the same thing. It was all mine. Leave them. Let's go for the leave them many. Don't really know if that is uh, something to get for the join them. Whoa, 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 what's that? What? She's a giant woman holding buddy. What's that? Okay. Is a grave for Dusty? Who is that? What? Is a giant woman holding body? White hair. I have no idea. All right, now is the credits. That is probably going to be one extra dialogue after the credits, and I'm going to skip this if you don't mind. I already showed the credits when I live streamed the game. You thought I wouldn't notice. You tried to steal while I'm asleep. Put it down. Now, before you break it, don't worry, I'm not stupid. I know it's fragile. If you wanted to see it, you should have asked. <laughs> you would have said no. You feel so old and crusty. I don't get it. The way you stare at it. 
Why do you have this? Just give it back. No, tell me. But I'll crush it. My sis. Someone close to me would grow these. All around the house I grew up in. Which is bread and buddy. So? That's it. That's it. I'm crushing it. Don't. Tell me more. Please. She learned how to grow when then from my mother. Mother? What's a mother? Damn it, bud, it's not important. You shouldn't act like this. Just give it back before I before you what, Brad? Why are you crying? Because I can't tell how much this matters to you. So why wouldn't you tell me? I've seen it. At times you run off and spend all day holding it. You're too old to stay here when I'm away. You're told to stay here when I'm away. You shouldn't be sneaking off. Tell me. I... If I tell you, you have to stop crying. I mean it. We don't cry here. I'm listening. Wipe your tears. Okay. Now hand it over. Or else you get nothing in return. Good. Now then. It's a reminder. To cope. To help heal guilt. Guilt is a type of pain you feel. For example, when a little girl starts to cry and you feel sad for her, you want her to feel better. Don't smile. I want to help for a good reason. It's so you can focus on your training instead of what I do when I'm supposed to be alone. True it is, buddy. It's something I don't understand. I try to make sense of it every day. Make sense of what? Why do you care so much about gardening? Something like who weeds, then plant seeds. Weeds are easy to grow, but flowers take hard work. You have to be nurturing. What does nurturing mean? Also, who is they? Don't worry about it. If I understand it, this whole gardening thing is like a horse dance. What? Uncle Cheeks told me a bit about gardens. But gardening is like a horse dance. Flowers don't have legs. They do. They call roots, which is like many tiny legs. Oh, the point is, the horse dance is the most boring, painful exercise in martial arts. It's real hard work. That's exactly why you can never neglect it, because it's the thing you want to do the least. But you need a strong, pure foundation in life, as well as martial arts. The horse dance provides that. Just like you need a strong, pure foundation to grow a flower. Having clean soil, always pulling weeds. Doing it every day, without neglect. Otherwise the weeds will grow back. Sometimes they grow back even stronger, harder to deal with. Okay. This isn't what I expected. Buddy? I care about this stuff because I made many mistakes. I hurt a lot of people. I... I was forced to hurt them very badly. Some of them I hurt by choice. Even though some of them I thought I was helping. When, I, it, when it comes to people, including myself. I can't tell who's good or who's bad, or if that's even the point. Just as you grow. Keep an open mind. It's something I never did.
protecting weeds, digging up seeds, open mind. I don't want anyone messing with my head. You're crazy. Stealing was a bad idea. That's right. This whole little trick you pulled is going to cost you. Why is it worth the sacrifice? I haven't lost anything yet. Just you wait. No more games. No more holding back on your training. You wanna grow up so fast? Fine, I'll help you grow. Or stands for help. Help me grow into a flower? Sure, smartass. A big flower. With very strong roots. Oh, got an achievement. Alright. Actually, that achievement is supposed to be for something else. But I don't mind. Yay! This is the end. So, at this point, I still don't really know how I'm going to uh, edit and record the video. I am kind of recording it. Recording both parts a little bit separately. Um, but yeah, I still don't know how I'm going to edit, how I'm going to do these things. I am going to do something, of course. I'm probably going to divide. Um, because the big idea, the main idea was to have... Um, both endings, like the painful definitive edition ending and the joyful definitive edition ending in a single video, but now I'm seeing that it's gonna be too long of a video. Usually the video shouldn't be too long. So I'm probably gonna divide in two and maybe even upload them at the same time. I don't know. I don't know, I'm taking on a strategy. But this anime was really, really wholesome. I hope... Doesn't overload any coding. This anime was really wholesome. I hope... Um, I still need to um, redo the fight against... Uh, mount, um, like... I still need to do the fight the extra mega boss fights on, on the painful and then finish the game to see if there is something different. Um, but what I, to what I've been researching, I don't think there is anything. But I'm still gonna see. Maybe there is and I put it on the video. If there isn't, then um, that's gonna be it. But this ending was good. This ending was extremely wholesome. I don't know what the giant woman is. I'm gonna do a big, a little bit of a research to see if I missed something. But yeah, just in case I use this on the video, thank you so much for watching. The other ending for Lizard the Painful, the definitive edition of the ending, or at least the fight, the extra big fight, if there is no extra ending. It's going to be linked down below, or it's going to be linked uh, right beside me right now. Uh, if you feel like doing the YouTube formalities of liking and subscribing, you're welcome to do. I, of course, I'm really going to appreciate it. And of course, is everything is optional. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.